Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about something different. Um, I thought I'd take a break from the usual uh, rune word and unique item videos. And today we're going to be talking about how life leech works. Now, a lot of people don't know that Life Leaf actually has penalties. So you might think to yourself, well, I have a certain amount of Life Leech. So right now I'm running 28% Life Leech on my Paladin. Uh, but uh, but is that enough Life Leech for my Paladin? Um, is, is that going to be enough for how much damage he's doing? What kind of damage does Life Leech work off of? And, um, and, and how effective is it on certain monsters? Well, these are the questions that we are going to answer today. So first off, right off the bat, um, let's talk about how Life Leech actually applies to a target. So when I walk over to a monster, and I chose um, this particular character for a very good reason. Uh, when I walk over to a monster and I hit a monster, um, it depends on... Uh, Obviously, which monster I hit, but we'll get into that later. So here we have some skeletons, um, and when I hit a skeleton, uh, skeletons have a drain effectiveness of zero. So I will never get any life leech back from a skeleton. Um, all skeletons have a life leech effectiveness of zero. Now this monster right here, I will get life leech back from. And you will notice that when I attack a small red, sort of a, a like... I don't want to say like a blip, but more like a little, like almost like a, a, a fog, a red fog sort of appears above my head. And this demonstrates that I have stolen life. And you will also see a blue one, which is when I steal mana. So what is actually causing this effect? How much am I getting back? And, uh, and, and how does it work? Well, the answer to those questions is a little complicated. And a little bit more complicated than I think a lot of people realize. So right off the bat, um, the first thing that you've got to know about Lifesteal is it only works on physical damage. So if it is not a physical damage type, then it does not work at all. Um, so right off the bat, you can tell there's a problem. I'm on a Conviction Paladin. Conviction Paladins are fire, cold, and lightning damage. And while I do have a small amount of physical damage, it is not as much as a character who is purely physical. So how do we find our physical damage? Well, we got to first off take off our Vengeance skill. Vengeance is the skill that gives us all of our elemental damage. So we need to go something um, a little bit less like um, just a normal attack because our Vengeance doesn't have any bonus to physical damage. Uh, so we need to figure out what our physical damage is. Uh, we've also got to take off any elemental damage sources. So if we have any kind of elemental damage um, coming in, like lightning there... And uh, we've got lightning on that charm. It's only one to two, uh, but we'll take that off too just in case. And uh, we have any other elemental damage effects. Uh, we have 15 to 45 cold on our ring. And looks like our weapon does not have any. So where is the uh, additional elemental damage coming from, I wonder? There we go. So you see now that our damage has turned white. So now we have what our damage is purely physical. So this is the number that our lifesteal is working off of. So when we look at our 28% lifesteal, um, we have to assume that that number, the 533 to 1654, is the correct number for our damage. And now we can put our equipment back on. And uh, put our charms back in our inventory. And uh, and see our number changes to the color because we have a lot of cold damage added on from various sources like the uh, the Raven Frost and the uh, the charm and things like this. But, but cold damage, fire damage, lightning damage, magic damage, none of this will allow you to leech life. And this includes life tap. So if you are using um, Dracul's Grasp, or an exile shield, or any other form of life tap charges, um, it is important to note that life tap also only works 
on physical damage. Um, so for instance, when you are smiting, smite allows you to steal life with live tap because it is physical damage. All right, so now that we have confirmed what kind of damage we have, which is about 1,650, we can take our life steal number, which is 28%, and we can work that up on a calculator. But we have more than just a simple calculation. If we were in normal difficulty, fighting a monster who had no penalty to a life steal, then we would get the exact amount back. Um, so we would get 28% of 1,650. So 1,650 plus 28% um, shows us the number of 462. So we would get 462 life back every single time we hit, which is a massive amount of life. But that's not how the calculation works. So I'm going to show you a couple things here, and uh, I've got I've got I've got graphs and charts. No, I'm just kidding. I've got some I got some graphics. All right. So first off, what you need to see is the penalties. So we have here uh, the normal difficulty is 100% life steal. So when you are in normal difficulty, you can have relatively minimal life steal, and that relatively minimal life steal is is nothing. Um, you can you can literally have five percent, and uh, and it will be an amazing amount of uh, of life steal because in normal difficulty there is hardly any penalties at all. In normal difficulty, all of your life steal is cut in half, fifty percent, which means that before you calculate anything else, all your life steal is cut in half. So if you've got ten percent, you might as well count it as five. Um, in hell difficulty, your life steal is cut another percentage down to thirty three percent. Um, and this is the reason why a lot of the times you will be a nice melee character, you're well decked out in normal difficulty, and you get to hell or uh, nightmare difficulty and you can't quite hack it, uh, literally. And the reason is, is because the, the lifesteal amount that you are getting is halved in nightmare, and it's one third of what it is in normal difficulty in hell. And this is not the end of it. So we also have to count for things like um, individual penalties. So this is the actual lifesteal formula, and uh, I'd like to go over it with you. So as you can see here, we have total leech equals total physical damage times leech percentage times penalty times drain effectiveness. So you notice we have a new category here um, of drain effectiveness. Now you are already familiar with drain effectiveness because drain effectiveness is something that everyone knows inherently because of skeletons. Think about skeletons. Skeletons have a drain effectiveness of zero. Okay, so to find out the drain and effectiveness of specific monsters, you actually actually have to look them up. So if we were to go to uh, to the internet and search for uh, Diablo 2, uh, Pandemonium Diablo, that's a good, uh, good one. So we're going to look for Pandemonium Diablo. He is the Diablo that is present in Uber Tristram. So if we are fighting Pandemonium Diablo and we have lifesteal, how much drain effectiveness does Pandemonium Diablo have? Um, so we have to actually have to go to his specific page and um, see if we can find him. So we've got Pandemonium Diablo. And we have his drain effectiveness is 15. So Pandemonium Diablo is relatively low on the drain effectiveness. Um, ridiculously so. Um, if we search for some other monsters, like let's, for instance, say we're going to search for the uh, Pit Lord. So Pit Lord Diablo 2. And we pull up the Pit Lord. And we will find the drain effectiveness for a pit lord, uh, which is 100 in normal difficulty, um, 85 in nightmare, and 66% in hell. So a fairly good drain effectiveness, even in hell difficulty. Um, so let's run a calculation, shall we? So we're going to pull up the calculator. I'm going to bring this up on uh, on camera so you guys can see the calculator and follow along as I uh, as I do the calculation. Uh, because this is the kind of important stuff that you got to know when you're trying to decide how much life steal is enough. How much life steal do I need to make this work? And uh, and this is going to be helpful to you to sort of figure out a good amount of life steal. 
All right, so here's the calculator. Let's go ahead and, and get this centered on the screen here. And uh, let's pull up the calculation too while we're at it. So here is the lifesteal formula. Um, we're just going to, uh, you know what? Let's bring the calculator down a little bit. It doesn't need to take up the whole screen. I think you guys can see it just fine, even if it's not taking up the whole screen. That way we can look at the formula while we do the, uh, the calculation. And let me move my character a little bit because uh, it's... Uh, can't really see the calculation very well. All right, so we've got a monster now. So our target monster is a Pit Lord. We are in Hell difficulty. We have 28% drain effectiveness, or drain, dra we have 28% lifesteal, and we are dealing 1,650 damage. All right, so what we've got to do is we've got to uh, multiply this out. So 1,650 times 28% is 0.28, which is uh, 462. Um, then we have the penalty, so we have to multiply it by the penalty, uh, which is a 33% penalty. So uh, we're gonna type in 0.33, I believe is the correct uh, way to do that. So now we're down to 152 lifesteal. Um, and the Pit Lord has a 66% drain effectiveness, which means our 152 is gonna get multiplied by 0.66. Uh, which means that after all the penalties and everything, our 1,650 physical damage is going to return us 100 damage or 100 health for each hit on Pit Lord. Now let's run this calculation again, but instead of using the Pit Lord, let's use Pandemonium Diablo. So Pandemonium Diablo has a drain effectiveness of 15, which is terrible. Um, so, so let's apply the same calculation. So 1,650, um, and of course, uh, Pandemonium Diablo is only in is only in hell difficulty, which means we're going to have a 33% penalty. So times 0 0.33. Uh, which means now we're doing 152, but Pandemonium Diablo has a 0.15 penalty for drain effectiveness, which means that every time we hit Pandemonium Diablo, we are only going to get 22.8 life back per hit. Uh, that's assuming we hit him. Um, now, every single boss and every single monster in the game has a variable drain effectiveness, and this can cause some big serious issues. Uh, let's look at Uber Mephisto. So Uber Mephisto's drain effectiveness is zero, which means that you cannot life or mana steal from Uber Mephisto, which is uh, which is really terrible. Um, now the thing about uh, the thing about Uber Mephisto that people use to bypass this is life tap. So life tap does not follow drain effectiveness, and this is the reason why life tap is so effective. We don't even need to run this calculation because at the end of the calculation we all know that anything at times zero is zero. So it doesn't matter if I've got 8,000 lifesteal, um, when I multiply that by zero it is going to be zero. So the drain effectiveness of zero completely kills any form of life or mana steal on Uber Mephisto. Um, let's take a look at Uber Bale. Uh, Uber Bale's drain effectiveness is 20. So a slightly different calculation. So when we're fighting Uber Bale, at least we get a little bit of uh, life of mana steel. So 1650 times 28%. Oh, that's, uh, that's wrong. That is wrong, wrong, wrong. 1650 times 28%. That was not correct. Um, and then we multiply that by the drain effectiveness, uh, which is, of course, the, um, the penalty of 0.33. And then we have to multiply by the penalty of 0 0.20, uh, which is a total of 30 life per hit. Which is pretty pathetic when you consider that uh, most characters around this level have anywhere between 1,000 to 2,500 health, uh, which means it's going to take an awful lot of hits to bring your health back up. And this is why life tap is just, it's just so important in the uber zones. Uh, but let's use a different monster. So instead of uber Diablo, let's use regular Diablo. So we're going to go and we're going to take a look at, uh, at regular Diablo. So uh, regular Diablo in Hell difficulty. Uh, that's who we're going to take a look at. 
And regular Diablo and Hell difficulty is... They make it so hard to find regular Diablo. Of course, the game is named Diablo. It's very difficult to search for just Diablo without pulling up every other bit of information about Diablo that you possibly can. Uh, da, 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 da. This is terrible. Uh, I, I've never uh, had so much trouble looking up one particular thing before. I will uh, pause this and I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. I have a website, um, Amazon Basin. Um, it's actually a website that I've used quite often uh, because they have a lot of really good information on um, on various things. So if you ever get a chance and you're looking for some very specific information, I notice that Amazon Basin tends to be one of the uh, the better places to go. So let's take a look at Amazon Basin here. And I'm going to bring this up at full screen so you can really get a good look at it. Really get a good look. Um, so we have a drain effectiveness. So right here, um, you should see a column. Here we go. Um, and this is uh, drain effectiveness of nightmare difficulty bosses, as you can see. And uh, and we have Andarial is in the category of 66% drain effectiveness. Um, Durial is 100%, as you can see there. So all damage that you can do to him in physical will get you 100% uh, drain effectiveness back. Of course, you still are applied the penalty, so do uh, do keep that in mind. And um, and you notice there's a lot of different drain effectivenesses here. Um, you know, within the 75% category, we've got Iswal. Uh, the 66% category, we've got Andorial. And as we go down, um, you'll see that we have even worse. Um, so we've got uh, penalties galore for hell difficulty. Let me see if I can uh, pull this up so you can see it. So this is hell difficulty, and uh, in hell difficulty we've got uh, Durial is 100% over here. You see Andariel is down to 33%. Uh, we also have a 50% uh, category, which is fairly large, 66% category, 75% category, and so on. So each one of these monsters is a little bit different than others. And uh, and you'll see up here at the top it also talks about um, the, uh, the goat men, which have an 80% drain effectiveness. Uh, Bale and his clone and Uber Bale have a 20%, as I was talking about earlier. Um, and of course, Diablo clone and Uber Diablo uh, both have a 15% drain effectiveness. So absolutely uh, very penalizing there. If you are a melee character, there is a very big uh, situation here where you need lots of lifesteal to stay alive. Uh, mana steel also is very important. And um, and when you come across a monster that has a drain effectiveness of zero, things can go sideways if you're depending on that lifesteal to, uh, to keep you up. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and, uh, and I hope I've made the life leech a little less mystifying now that you know that um, there is a penalty in normal nightmare and hell difficulty and now that you know the formula which includes the drain effectiveness on a target um, and now that you know that physical damage is the only damage that applies st life steal um, you will have a much easier time figuring this stuff out and uh, and and when I say that only physical damage I really mean only physical damage so if you were using a skill like berserk which is entirely magic damage. Um, if you were using a skill that converts all of your damage from physical into an element, uh, like for instance, lightning strike, uh, fire arrow, cold arrow, um, or any other ability that completely converts physical into elemental, you're gonna get no life steal. Um, and that includes life tap, by the way. Because life tap also works on physical damage, when you use life tap gloves or an exile shield or something of that nature um, with a skill that converts completely from one element into another, you're not going to get any life steal on that amount. Uh, take, for instance, Berserk. Berserk is entirely converting all of your physical damage into magic damage. And this means that it does not work. 
It is one of the big downsides of Berserk. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.